regional open world in that it consists of different land masses, different areas, uh, and uh, you can you can travel to most of them smoothly without any loading screens. But there, there will be visible boundaries in a way that there is a river, uh, and uh, and and there are some uh, burnt fields. And on the one side of it, you have an area which wasn't touched by the war, and on the other side, there is an area which uh, was ravaged by the war. And you will you will see uh, the difference. But there, the boundary is is invisible. But when it comes to the Scully Island, you have to get there by boat. So you have to uh, get there first, and then you can explore this particular region. So uh, the, the world is open, but but you, you have to remember that you have to uh, move from one region to another. Is they don't form a uniform landmass surrounded by mountains. Uh, these are different regions that that uh, have certain boundaries in between them, but you can you can traverse. The open world game, of course, you can do whatever you want and go whatever you want. So, so what we are doing is that uh, we, we are not confining the main storyline to any particular location. So you, you can go to a particular region and then uh, you know to find the, the pieces of information you need. And then at any point, if you feel tired by this particular location or, or a particular people you're dealing with, you're free to go to a different place and pick up the, uh, the main storyline from a different angle and, and get your information there. And uh, so not only you can go wherever you want, but you can uh, get the information you require in whatever uh, uh, order you want. You can just go from the main storyline ignoring all the side quests if you want to. The only difficulty uh, might lie in the fact that uh, enemies don't scale up. Uh, so uh, there will be some uh, uh, enemies, some monsters, which will be extremely difficult at the beginning of the game. And if you uh, bump into them, you will have trouble.